Hello again, YouTubers. It's Edward at the Golden Palace in northern Mindanao. And uh, it's just a beautiful afternoon here. We're just all going to relax. We had a little bite to eat already. My queen is working so hard today. She's so beautiful. Oh, I get uh, I get the invitation of Jumel who? wedding. To whose wedding? Jumel. Oh, okay. And yeah, Jumel day. is what? Jumel is your sister's son. Yeah, he, uh, actually, Jumel is my nephew. When he was born, I'm the one who take care of him. Yes. When he was Changing his home. diaper. And, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we good. Get, so he got married and, you know, we can't go. He's in the... But we're still in the He's list. in the Philippines Coast Guard, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, somewhere in... Uh, I forgot. Yeah, I don't know Cotabato. Cotabato, okay. Cotabato. Oh. That's where he's currently stationed. Yeah. yeah. Our names for uh, principal sponsors, we're here. Your name. Okay. Uh, also here. But they put a wrong spelling of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's common because for L you. L I L I R, right? Yeah, Most yeah. of Lilibet. But uh, I don't know. They never put an E. Mm. <laughs> so, tubers, you know, just everyday life here. Uh, one thing that's been on my mind la lately is uh, even Elon Musk is, is worried about it. Uh, with everything on his mind, just imagine. This is from Elon Musk, right? He thinks that in 20 years or less, the biggest problem in the world is going to be depopulation, population collapse. Yeah, imagine that. And everyone you talk to, they think the whole world is overpopulated right now. Well, we've already passed peak population. Uh, a lot of the analysts say at least 10 years ago was uh, peak population population which means it's all downhill from here and especially with china's one child policy that they've had for last i don't know a couple decades and a lot of those are males their their whole system is going to collapse pretty soon hello <laughs> huh okay <laughs> So, anyways, that's something to think about, you guys. Uh, China's going down quick, and the only way, really, they can come out of it with any kind of advancement, it's, it means it really makes them dangerous, right? Uh, they have all these males, young males, and no females. They're going to expand, expand, conquer something, right? That's why I think they will take Taiwan out soon, sooner than later. And same thing with any other conquests because they have to, because their, their food's going down, their population's going down so quick. They have to do something soon. And if, if they don't, they're, they're doomed. So something to think about that most people think, oh, we got too much population in the world. Let's try to kill everybody, you know. That's what the U.S. military industrial complex has been doing for 40 years. Slaughtering people in third world countries all over the world. So, you know, it's not only the U.S. It's all the nations that create a huge amount of weapons. Russia, China, uh, France. You know, all those countries produce lots of weapons too. So, anyways, that's the world we're in. So... Get to somewhere safe like the, like Mindanao in the Philippines. Have ch go way out in the deep jungle like we are and have lots of children. That's my advice. <laughs> okay, tubers. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Bye. See you guys later. Bye-bye.